We're taking it back and giving you the best Action packed style and finesse uh -huh. So good, let's go, so, so fresh. fresh Here and now, there is no contest uh -uh. No sweat, no more, no less No way to take it back without a little bit of zest We came to relieve your stress uh -huh. Get it moving right, left, right, left Motivation worldwide progress We push forward like a tribe on a quest And keep it moving cause we know just what we doing When we grooving with the music you can run into the press Hey, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Keith Bryant, a.k.a. GQ Smooth, and the name of this film documentary is called Peace. Now, um, I want to talk about peace, something that we need in the world, something that we should have in the world, something that we uh, crave for in the world. Um, but I'm here to say that, you know, because of the drama when it comes to people, because of the evilness when it comes to people, because of the deceitfulness when it comes to people, because of people's uh, bad intentions, because of people's bad spirits, bad energy, um, all that negative shit that's going on in the world as we speak, we don't have peace. You know, that's something that, that we, we should have, but we really don't have it. We have it to a certain extent, but I think the world that we live in today is uh, based on bullshit, evilness, deceitfulness, hatefulness, all this negative shit. People get some sort of feedback off of negativity instead of positivity, you know what I mean? So that's why we have more hatefulness within the world and when it comes to people than peace. You know what I mean? Me, for example, I love peace. I love peace. When it comes to peace, it's like everything is so serene when it comes to peace, you know, we all should have that. We all should should uh, want that within the world, within ourselves, within our household, within our workplace, just within our, um, our space, you know what I mean? Um, that's why I try to keep myself around. I try to keep, I try to stay away from negative people I stay away from negative people. I'm not trying to stay away from negative people. I do. I stay away from negative people. Um, I immerse myself around positive people because why would you want to be around something negative when you can have something positive? Why would you want to be around drama when you can have peace? You see, in this day and age we live in today, people love drama. People don't like peace. And it's sad to say this though, but it's true. People love bullshit. People love drama. People love, you know, a bunch of chaos when it comes to the world that we live in today. People don't crave for peace. People don't like it. Because to people in this generation, they think having peace within yourself, within your presence is boring. No, it's not boring. Having peace within your life, within your household, within yourself, it'll keep you from dying. It'll keep you from getting shot, beat up, stabbed. It'll keep you from dramalistic bullshit that's going on in the world. You know, you need peace in your life. You need peace within your household. You need peace within your soul, your spirit, within your presence, within yourself. It's always good to have peace within yourself. It's always good to be around people that's all about peace instead of bullshit, fakeness, and negativity. You know what I mean? So when it comes to people, I steer clear of negative ass people within the world because, you know, the more people that you are around, the more drama and chaos is going to be. You know what I mean? Because everybody is not happy for you when it comes to your accomplishments, when it comes to who you are as a person when it comes to the things that you like to do, the way you speak, the way you do things, the way you are, who you are as a person, what you stand for, your religion, all that shit. You know, people don't, people are not going to always be happy for you. Um, so, you know, when it comes to people, you really have to uh, know who, who is within your circle. It's always good to keep a small circle because having a big circle full of people, you ain't gonna know who to trust. People can backstab you in a minute. People are always gonna envy you when it comes to your accomplishments, who you are as a person, what you stand for, 
your personality, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you do things, um, and so forth. So people this day and age, or it could be a person, they're all about drama. They don't like peace. Um, peace is always going to be good, but due to due to people in this world, in this generation, this fucked up ass generation that we live in today, brainwashed generation, you're going to have less peace and more drama. So that's why even when it comes to social media, people crave for attention, attention seekers, validation, um, and drama. For example, you see videos that's on um, certain social media sites. You know what I mean? And um, when you go to these social media sites, you'll see more videos of drama, people getting shot, people getting beat up, all about money, all about cars and rims, all about women shaking their asses and twerking, showing their breasts and, and fat asses and all that. Then you see these niggas on social media you know, showing a expensive cars, the jewelry, you know, um, dramalistic shit that they do in their da daily lives. Um, just, just, just drama when it comes to men and women, when it comes to certain videos that you see on social media, you get all a bunch of likes and comments and shares when it comes to those videos, which are videos based on drama. You know, I ain't saying all videos, but the majority of videos you see on social media are based on drama, violence, and sex. That's it. It's never about peace. It's never about doing the right thing. It's never about the right thing. It's never about right. It's always about wrong all the time. It's never about peace. It's always about bullshit. It's always black on black crime. Um, it's always somebody getting shot, showing guns and what they can do with the guns and and the women on there showing their bikini lines and all that and breasts and ass and it's never anything it's never about anything positive when it comes to these videos and that goes for you know different social media sites facebook um instagram uh, just different social media sites basically you see nothing but drama drama and bullshit you know what i mean it's never it, it's never about the it's never about positivity. It's always about negativity. Um, and that kills me. It kills me about people this day and age. It's, they, they, they strive off of seeing someone getting their head beaten or jump or someone jumping over a uh, Burger King counter or some sort of fast food restaurant counter to where the person is jumping over the counter to beat somebody's head in because they uh, didn't make their sandwich right, or they ain't, they ain't put enough pickles and onions on their hamburger, or I didn't get enough fries, or um, can you put some more ice in my drink, or it's, it, you know, it's always about someone getting shot, killed, or beat up over a sandwich, or some fries, or a drink, which that shit right there can be avoided. You know what I mean? But my point is, is that people crave drama instead of peace you know people don't like peace anymore it's always about drama it's always about bullshit it's always about being ratchet it's always about being ghetto it's always it's always about uh having a evil deceitful hateful demeanor it's always having a deceitful hateful uh uh, uh deceitful uh um personality you know what I mean about a person or a people their aura their demeanor people get some sort of feedback off of a person's demeanor and aura which is evil which is hateful but people laugh they joke around they get some sort of feedback off of dramaistic bullshit and criminalistic bullshit instead of peace you know what I mean so um, it is, it is crazy. That's why I stay to myself. I don't be around a lot of people. You know what I mean? Um, I don't feel like I need to be around a lot of people to, to validate myself or to make myself feel important. You know what I'm saying? As long as you know that you are important, 
You don't need to prove anything to a crowd full of people. Uh, you don't have to have a large amount of people within your circle to, to, to validate yourself or to boost your ego or to make yourself feel important or try to impress them, those people, you know, basically saying to yourself or to them, like, you know, I know you, I know a lot of people. Okay, so what? What is that gonna prove? And within all those people that you know, any one of them can stab you in the back at any time, any place, anywhere. It don't make a fucking difference. We're all human beings, so people's feelings change. I don't care how long you've known a person, I don't care how long you've been married. I don't care how long you've been in a relationship. I don't care how long you've been in a friendship. I don't care how long you've known this person as a uh, acquaintance or an associate. It don't make a fucking difference. We're all human beings. So uh, when it comes to certain people, people's feelings change just like that. So what I mean by that is knowing a lot of people don't mean shit. Are these people about peace? All these people about, you know, uh, egos, you know, high egos and, 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 and just about themselves or whatever. So, you know, people this day and age ain't about peace anymore. Ain't about peace. Every time you turn on the goddamn TV set or the news, someone getting shot. You know what I mean? Uh, every time you turn on the goddamn news, somebody getting raped, somebody getting robbed, somebody getting their, their goods stolen or whatever uh somebody getting they they houses or apartments or condos broken into that's not peace that's drama and i think that this day and age people strive off of drama instead of peace and i must say we all need peace within the world that we live in today whether it's streets neighborhoods uh cities states uh, uh, uh countries whatever the world in general we all need peace but people don't strive for it people don't People are not doing what they're supposed to do to get to that that peace. You know what I mean? So that's why I say, man, you know, always strive for peace instead of drama. Because when it comes to drama, there's killings, there's robberies, there's raping, there's stealing, there's just dramalistic bullshit when it comes to drama. And especially when it comes to my own kind, man. I mean, you know, everybody in this generation love some sort of drama i don't care what color you are but what i'm saying is especially my own kind and when i mean my own kind i mean my own color man it's like people this day and age we don't know how to stick together we always killing each other over over shit that can be avoided and talk about but the way people talk nowadays they talk with their gun they talk by shooting someone they talk by stabbing someone they talk by raping someone. They talk by uh, 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 robbing someone, stealing from someone. That's how people talk in this generation, by doing shit that can take somebody's lives or end up in the hospital or whatever. People don't talk with their mouths. They talk with weapons. You know what I mean? And that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's why I say stay to yourself. Concentrate on what you're doing. You know what I mean? Stay away from these, these, uh, these people that's all about drama. That's all about trying to be all um, tr people that's, that, that's being evil, deceitful, hateful, uh, negative and all that, you know, so um, always be yourself, man. Always be yourself, you know, always be yourself and stay away from people that's trying, that, that, that that's ratchet. Stay away from people that's ghetto. Stay away from people that's been around people in the past or the future that's 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 uh be stop being around people that's all about negative traits you know what i mean because you got people that you can be real cool with that you just met or uh, known for like two years maybe a year or whatever it could be a friend it could be a family member it can be a uh, relationship marriage and some people will bring all that energy all that energy from their past into the new person that they're with, or it could be a family member that you you just now meeting, or a friend, or a marriage, or whatever the case is, you can always tell when someone is all about peace. You can feel it within your soul. You can feel it within your body. You can feel it, you can feel it within your spirit. You can feel it. You can feel it. That that person or those people 
are all about good vibes or bad vibes. Uh, if they're about peace or drama, you can just feel it. You know what I mean? So I try to immerse myself around positive people all the time. And I can tell when I'm in the presence of an evil, deceitful person within my presence, I can feel it. Because I have a sixth sense. I have intuitions, instincts, all that. So strong instincts. And I can always feel when I'm in the presence of an evil person. That's not all about peace. You know what I mean? So I, I try to stay away from those people and just have positive people within my circle, within my presence all the time. That's what I want. That's what I'm about. I'm all about peace. I'm all about tranquility. I'm all about harmony. I'm all about love. I'm all about giving. I'm all about uh, positive vibes, positive energy, good vibes, good energy. I don't give a fuck about bad vibes. I don't give a fuck about bad energy. I don't give a fuck about anything bad at all. I don't give a fuck about anything negative. You feel me on that? It's all about positivity when it comes to me. It's all about goodness when it comes to me. It's all about right when it comes to me. But some people out there, they'll try, they'll try to, if they, know, if they know that you're all about peace and love and all that shit, what people would do, what a person or people would do, if they know, if they know that you're all about good shit, what they'll do is they'll try to get close to you. They'll try to say things to you. They'll try to do things to you so they can bring some sort of rage out of you to make it seem like everything's your fault, to make it seem like that you're the bad person, but in all actuality, that person or those people are, are the bad people or the bad person. It's not you. You know what I mean? But people, if they see that there is some goodness about you, if they see that you have some sort of good vibe about you and good spirits about you and you and, and you are actually a good person, that person or those people will try to get to you in some sort of way to make it seem like that everything is your fault or what you said to them is actually your fault or the way you act in is actually your fault, but it's not your fault. It's that person's fault, and it's the it, it's the it, it's uh, those people's fault. It's not your fault at all, because people only people only 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 reason why a person or people will try to get to you in that sort of way, or whatever, is because there's something good about you that they wish that they had. Totally, not fifty percent, but one hundred percent. So if they see that you're different, or it's something good about you or you have certain uh, good traits about yourself, what they'll do is they'll get so close to you and they want to get so close to you uh, to the point where they're attached to you, to the point where they want to they wanna, uh, soak up all that good energy out of you. They want to soak up all that goodness out of you because they see that you are a good person and they're not actually good people. You know what I mean? So what they'll do is they'll want to they'll get close to you to, to soak up all your good energy, all your good efforts, <clears throat> all your good traits about you, all your good, uh, all, all, all the goodness that's with inside of you, they want some of that. They want a piece of that pie. You know what I mean? So if they can't get, if they can't get a piece of that pie, they'll try to make, make you out to be the bad guy, talk about you, say stupid shit about you that's not true gossip about you to other people but as long as you know that you are a good person it's not about what they think you know what i mean uh but you know this day and age people are about just bullshit they're about bullshit they're not about peace you know what i mean so they're all about craziness they're all about drama. They're all about bullshit. That's why, you know, the people I used to hang out with back in the day, like friends and, and certain family members and people I was in a relationship with, I let their ass go because I saw uh, within the surface that, you know, they were all about what I can do for them instead of just, 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 just being a good family member or a good friend or someone that I was in a relationship with, you know what I'm saying? So... Um, people this day and age, you know, they only want to, they only want to be your friend or be in a relationship with you 
or be a part of your life because of what you can do for them, basically, or something about you that they want a piece of. You know what I mean? They don't want to be. With, they don't want to be with you, or or be a family member or be a friend of yours just because it's just something that you have. It could be energy. It could be money. It can be finances. It can be something materialistic. People this day and age don't want to, don't want to be within your life just because you're genuine. It's something that you have that they want. You know what I mean? Because they don't have it. This day and age, people aren't genuine at all. I mean, you know, you I, I can't speak on everyone, but the majority of people in this world that I came across, that I've had in my life, they didn't they didn't want to be in my life because I was genuine. They wanted to be a part of my life because it's something that I had, something valuable maybe, or something as far as energy, materialistic, money, or whatever. And then if you don't if if if, if it's like it, it was never about, it, it was always about, and then those people that were in my life, they were all about drama. So being an empath, being an introvert, being a person that's, that's so serene within myself, um, I couldn't be around those people no more because that's interfering with with my, my peacefulness that I have with, with inside of me. That's interfering with my empathetic nature. You know what I mean? So uh, when it comes to people, um they're about they're about drama you know what i'm saying so when it when it comes to those type of people i steer clear of those people you know what i'm saying because um because the the um because if, if we can't find some sort of revolution when it comes to being at peace with each other uh having peace within our lives just being, just, just, just having goodness within our lives, being around good people, being around positive people, then this world is going to fold. You know what I mean? We are all going to uh, 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 be in a place that we don't, we don't want to be. You know what I'm saying? So it's always good to just, 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 uh, just be around positive people. You feel so much better about yourself. You will feel so much better in general when you around someone or people that's 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 talking positive. People that are so serene, people that are just so uh, just some sort of goodness about them. When you hear somebody talking positive, the words that they speak, and then and then the good energy that's within your presence. And the good talking and the good spirits and the, and the good soul, good personality, all that goodness that's within your presence, it makes you feel good. You feel good inside. But once, you know, someone is all about drama, somebody that wants to argue all the time, uh, someone that's that's evil, someone that's deceitful, someone that's hateful because of shit they've been through in the past. You know, saying uh, whether it's family, whoever, friends, relationship, whatever. What they'll to, what they want to do is they want to put all that shit on you that that they went through in the past, and then they want to bring all that shit towards your door now because they see that you're different, such as myself. Because they see that you have a lot of good energy about yourself, such as myself. And they see that you're you're different from other people with because of your personality, your stance, just something about yourself is different from what they're used to. You know what I mean? So people will try to want to make you like them, evil, deceitful, and hateful. But as long as you got God in your life, as long as you got love in your life, as long as you got tranquility in your life, as long as you got harmony within your life, you ain't gonna let those evil people get to you. You know what I mean? They ain't gonna let them get to you. Cause I damn sure ain't gonna let evil people get to me because I know what I have in my life and that's positivity. You know what I mean? That's good stance. You know what I mean? Um, I have goodness about myself and so should you. So always tell yourself, man, you don't need to be around people that's all about drama. Always be around people that's all about peace. So if you feel like that you are in the presence of, of someone or people that's all about drama, 
people that are ratchet, people that are ghetto, walk away. As it, 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 even if you if, if you even feel just a little bit of something, some sort of drama that's gonna come on, or ratchetness, or ghettoness, or evilness, or whatever, make that right. Keep on walking. Don't be in that person's presence because all that all that person is doing, or those people is they're trying to get close to you to soak up all of your good 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 energy. That's all they want to do, so they can have it. Or, or what they want to do is they want to put all that dramalistic bullshit about themselves and that hatefulness and that ratchetness and ghettoness. They want to bring it to your doorstep. They want to bring it all to you. They want to they want to slap all that evilness onto you, so you can be evil like them. You know what I mean? So be all about peace all the time. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. You know, be all about peace. You know what I mean? Be all about peace. Be all about love. Be all about harmony. Harmony. Be all about tranquility. Let that be your uh, um, what's that word? Um, let that be your signature. Because my signature is be real, stay true. And there's a lot of motherfuckers out here that ain't true, that ain't real. And they'll try to be trade to, they'll try to pretend to be real, be true, to get on your good side so they can get some information out of you or to try to get close to you so they can steal some of your good nature or steal some of your good information about yourself uh, so they can talk about you to other people. I've dealt with all that shit before in my lifetime. When it comes to friends, when it comes to family, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to marriage, I've been through all that shit that I'm talking about on this video, on this documentary right now. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just a shame, man. From, you know, from back in the day to, you know, to now versus now, it's like, it's a big ass difference. And what I mean by that is, uh, back in the day, it was more content. It was more laid back. I mean, it was, it was still a bunch of bullshit that was going on when it comes to drama and not being real, not being true and, and just people in general, but it's more amped up now when it comes to today's generation. It got so bad to where relationships don't, the relationships don't even exist no more. Marriages don't even exist anymore. Friendships don't even exist no more. Family members, you know, being close to each other don't even exist no more. I mean, it exists to a certain extent, but it really doesn't exist anymore. You know what I mean? So because of today's generation, because of how today's generation is so fucking brainwashed, people don't really see what's really going on. So you have to have a, a great mindset. You have to be so knowledgeable and wisdom. Your third eye has to be open. You know, you have you have to be you have to be uh, a person that's all about tranquility to see what's going on. That's why I stay to myself. And you know, like I said before, when you're a good person. When you all about tranquility and harmony and love and God, people will try to make you look like the bad guy when it comes to every situation. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's a friendship, that person don't want to take accountability. They make you out to be the bad guy when it's actually them, when it comes to a relationship. When you are a good person and that person is evil, they'll try to they'll try they'll try to manipulate you to make it seem like everything's your fault, but it's their fault. When it comes to a marriage, same goes. They admit they'll 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 try to make make it look like everything is your fault, but it's actually their fault because they have something dark and evil that's with inside of them. They want you to be dark and evil too, like them. They don't want you to have peace at all. When you have peace in your life, you feel so much better about yourself and your surroundings and everything. I'm telling you, atmosphere, all that peace. It's such a good feeling to have peace, but people don't want peace anymore. They want chaos. They want drama. They want bullshit. Stay away from that dumb shit. You feel me? Stay away from all that, man. You know, I've dealt with fake ass people my whole life. That's all about drama, all about themselves, all about materialism, all about just, just, um, sex, all about drugs, all about, uh, being alcoholics and drinking. You know what I mean? Instead of doing the right thing, being righteous, you know what I'm saying? And 
being peaceful, wanting peace within their lives, within their circle, within their soul and spirit, people would choose drama over peace. But I'm here to say, I would choose peace any day. I would choose peace any day over drama. I love peace. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm going to get up out of here. Got some things I got to do, more projects I got to work on. So I got a project coming out called uh, The Counselor real soon. And I got a project out, well, coming out real soon called uh, My Life. My Words from My Point of View Part 2 is going to be about my life. Things I've been through from childhood to adulthood. So I can't wait till I put that out. The counselor is going to be about me counseling people about their problems. So um, it's going to be a real, real good short film. It's not going to be a documentary. It's going to be an actual film. My Life is going to be a, a documentary slash short film. So... Um, but yeah, that's all I want to say for the day. I'm glad I did this film. It was on my mind. I had to get off my chest because we all need peace within ourselves, within the world that we live in. So my name is Keith Bryant, um, a.k.a. GQ Smooth, and I'm here to say peace. Let me say it again. Peace. Peace. Love and harmony. God is love and love is God. Let me say it again. God is love, and love is God. All right? Until next time. Ladies Peace. and gentlemen, this is a public service announcement. It's time to take it back. It's time to take it back. You ready to go and start the show? It's time to take it back. You ready to go and start the show? Uh. Whoa. Yo, hey, we want you to get on up and clap your hands uh, and get it if you're feeling it. We want you, hey, to get on up uh, and clap your hands yo. and get it if you're feeling now it. Now somebody, anybody, everybody move your body to the beat. Don't stop. This is hip hop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Raise your hands up to the top. Now we all about PC, quality, love, unity, and having fun. We connect with the whole wide world. We connect. Like check. One, two. Bring it on. Uh, come on. We're taking it back and giving you the best Action pack, style and finesse uh -huh. So good, let's go, so, so fresh Here and now, there is no contest uh -uh. No sweat, no more, no less No way to take it back without a little bit of zest We came to relieve your stress uh -huh. Get it moving right, left, right, left Motivation worldwide progress We push forward like a tribe on a quest And keep it moving cause we know just what we doing When we grooving with the music you can run into the press Go to start the show. You ready to go to start the show? Come on. Uh, yeah. You ready to go to stay? Now somebody, anybody, everybody move your body to the beat. Don't stop. This is hip hop. Can't stop. Don't stop. Raise your hands up to the top. Now we all about PC, quality, love, unity, and having fun. We're taking it back. What goes around comes back again. Uh, we're ready to grow, we're ready to win. Uh, we're steady with flow, beginning to end. All the ladies and the men and children. We're so amazing, the board that we're raising. Global domination, so sensation. Every generation, whatever your persuasion. European, African, Latin, Asian. Yeah. Uh, you ready to go to start the yeah. show? Uh,